So now we're ready to do the inside front cover. Now with mine, um, ended up having a little bit of cracking on this part of my spine. So I went ahead and applied some black construction tape. All I did was draw a line, like a half an inch line down here I just added my black construction tape, pulled it, added it right on top of where I drew that half inch line, and then wrapped it around to the inside. And then just folded it over here and cut it so they overlapped just a little bit on the inside and burnished it all down. I would have done that with on the back inside cover, but I already got the flaps in, so if I decide to do that, I'm going to have to cut my half inch tape because there's not a one inch left because of the not enough room. Um, so I'm just gonna have to probably cut this down like to three eighths of an inch wide, and then I, I can wrap this back side too. And I'll probably do that, because um, I do want them to match. So I'll probably do that off camera. But if you want to do that, go ahead and add your black construction tape so you have this nice um, spine right here that will never crack on you. So anyway, back to the inside front cover. Get a piece of 65 pound cardstock. You're going to adhere this down um, with 1 16th or 1 8th of an inch reveal all the way around. Make sure you leave at least 1 8th of an inch from where this, um, this closes, open and closes. So I already have my uh, tape on, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So next you're going to cut uh, a piece for the pocket that we have on the inside right here. So I'm using 85 pound cardstock because I want this pocket to be strong. You're going to cut it three and a half inches wide by um, eight and a half inches long. And you're going to put it in the scoreboard and score it at uh, half an inch up here. And what I like to do is dry fit it it's probably going to be fine if I score it just at a half an inch down here because this is seven inches, this is eight, but sometimes when you do the scoring, it shortens it a bit. So I like to have it uh, aligned with the top of the album there. And then I just make a little tick mark down here Put it in my scoreboard. Oh my God. So I have, then I get my scoreboard and there's my tick mark. And I'm gonna put this in and that does come out to seven and a half inches. So it's, it's fine. Didn't need to do that, but just in case. And then you're going to go ahead and do your half an inch for the bottom part of your um, pocket. So I'm just gonna do it on this side. It's easier for me. It's three. So we're going to fold and burnish and miter um, the corners on this pocket. So I have my pocket in, and like I always do, don't attach the, the, the sides, just the bottom part, and then you're going to get your black construction tape or whatever tape you use, and you're going to cover that little lip there. I'll straighten that out. 
that. So now whatever goes in this pocket won't be hitting that lip. Don't adhere this yet. So we are going to be using, let me show you the paper we're going to be using back in here. We're going to be using this paper. Now, I <clears throat> didn't ha have enough paper because I had cut into it and um, what I had to do was use this part and I had to cut a little line like that's like half an inch because I didn't have enough to go top to bottom and then I adhered the rest of it down here and I had to put <clears throat> excuse me I had to put a little piece down here I, you can't see it but I had to add another little piece down here because for some reason I had I had cut into it so that's going to be your challenge is to get this paper try to get it so you can cover the back side here and it's able to go underneath the pocket a little bit it doesn't have to go under much but have it go under the pocket i just used a strip from um, the patterns and solids that has all those black and white um, patterns i just put a strip in here you can put a strip in of whatever you like in here. So that is what I did. And then I had a little strip that I put here uh, um, to the, the right of this panel. So once you get this paper adhered and affixed the way you like it, then you can put down your pocket here and slide that in I I built this with this and this on another um, piece of thin cardstock just so it would be one unit so I can slip it in I didn't want to be dealing with my uh, I, I just wanted it as one unit that I could slip in so that's what I did. So see if you can patch that up in whatever Frankenstein method you want. Or if you want to use a different color, that's fine too. I just wanted this to match with this. So once you have this in, go ahead and adhere down your pocket. So pretend this is that red paper. I mean, you could use <clears throat> any other paper. I mean, even this, this is just scraps that I put together to fit in here. This is separate from this, but it, that actually doesn't look bad either. So anyway, so the pocket I covered with this piece from the Patterns and Solids. So go ahead and put that down here. And once you have that, you are going to make this little library pocket. So this library pocket, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece two and five eighths inches wide by five and a half inches tall. You're going to put it in your scoreboard And you are going to score it at one third, so one, two, three, line, score, and flip this over, one, one, two, three, score, and at the bottom, you're going to score it at two and a quarter inches, two and a quarter inches. So, so you're going to fold this up, and this is going to be the pocket. This is going to be the back side. This part we're going to either cut out. Um, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to cut right here at that two-inch score mark. Cut. I'm going to cut right there. 
and then I'm just going to miter the corner there, miter the corner there. like that. Same thing on this side. I'm going to cut to that score mark, if I can see it, and then miter, miter, so then we have our little pocket right there. That's our little pocket. Now these, technically you can just cut them off, um, but what I like to do, so my edges are nice and clean, is I just fold them over on the back side, burnish them real well, and then you can just glue, glue, glue these flaps down, glue them down. That way you have a nice clean edge on the sides here. And then you're going to just fold this over and make your pocket. But before you do that, find the center of your pocket and get your... So find the center of your pocket there. So remember, this is your pocket that's going up like this. This is the back side. You're going to glue this down. You're going to lift up this pocket, but before you do not put it down, you're going to find the center. And then what I did is I got my three quarters, yes, three quarters of an inch punch. You're going to find that center and make a little cutout. I think I used my three quarters. So it's like that. So I glued, I glued these flaps on the back put my score tape, and then I've cut out this with my three quarters of an inch circle punch. I'm actually not going to adhere this down yet because I want to be able to slip my um, cardstock into this pocket so my tag doesn't hit those lips of my, my little pocket that I made. So what are you going to use? <clears throat> You are using this green paper again from the um, Patterns and Solids. I also use my We Are Memories Keeper stub punch. Let's see. My stub. So I'm going to go ahead and stub this side. And then stub this side. So there I have my little stud punch. I'm going to get my green paper, fit this on here, stub punch it, ink, ink it. And once I get that paper cut to size, then I'm going to close this and I'm going to adhere, slip in that paper, if that makes sense. Slip in that green paper behind this so I have a nice smooth entryway for my little tag that's going to go here. The tag that I picked to go in the pocket was this one, Long Life. It's from the 8x8 collection and I just cut it and um, backed it on some craft cardstock and just make sure you cut it so it does slide into your pocket easily. The top part of your pocket is this gold. Let's see, I just had that paper. So the gold piece that I used to cover the front of the pocket was from the, the 12 by 12. I just used this and covered the pocket. And then on top of that, I put this sentiment from the 8x8, Live Your Life, and I actually cut that and backed it on craft cardstock, so it looks like that. So that's the decorated library pocket, like that. 
this is going to be affixed to the pocket. It is half an inch up from the bottom. So the pocket's gonna be half an inch up from the bottom and it's basically centered midline in the pocket. That's it for this little library pocket. Then this piece. Now this piece is going to be a medallion. I picked this color because I thought it went well with my booklet that I made. I picked this medallion. I attached it to a piece of black cardstock, 110 black cardstock, inked all the edges, and then I slipped it under here, underneath the pocket, drew a line so I knew where to put my, my tape, and then I, oops, then I put my tape on this piece and then I was able to affix it to the back of my pocket. And this is just there to help hold the booklet that um, I actually made. So the booklet, let me show you the booklet. This is the little booklet that's going in this pocket. So this booklet is made from, so this booklet is made from, I used 80, about 85 pound, 80, 85 pound cardstock. You're gonna cut a piece 11 by 11 inches long, six and a half inches tall, and you're just going to find the center, fold, and burnish. You can put it in your score board also. So here's the that piece folded and burnished real well. So what I did to make this booklet, I have one, two, three pages that I sewed into this this little booklet. This paper is just resume paper. It's it's 25 pound resume paper. So it's a it's thicker than plain old um, copy paper, but not too thick. And it's nice paper. I just cut those a little bit. I mean, they're essentially the same size as the booklet. And I sewed them in with a three hole pamphlet stitch. I've done many of these. Um, if you don't know how to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch, just Google it on YouTube and you'll see plenty of people showing you how to do these three-hole pamphlet stitches. So I used my upholstery thread here. It's a pretty strong thread. Sewed that in. And after I sewed it in, then I used my black construction tape to cover those holes, because you're gonna be punching holes in here, I use my black construction tape to cover up the edge here. So you can see the back side. here's the black construction tape on the back side, and here's the black construction tape on the front side. And then I just got this paper from the eight by eight. It's right there. <clears throat> and then I just cut it to fit. So I basically started with this edge and you can see how I cut it to fit like this. That's basically all I did is I cut it to fit on top of here. And then I got this sentiment, life is an echo, and then adhered that down. So that's our pamphlet. And then what I did is I used my corner rounder, the large one, and rounded the corners of the booklet and all the pages in this booklet. 
just on this side, not here, just on this side. I put this from the 8x8, just as journal. So this is a little um, journal for whoever gets this album. They can write whatever they want in this little journal. And this journal is going to be sitting in this, this pocket. So just make sure when you put this down, it's, it's below the level of um, this circle piece that you put up here. So this circle piece is just helping to keep that booklet tight within that pocket. So that's it for the inside front cover. For the front cover, pretty simple. We're using this from the 8x8 collection. You are going to be trimming it at this gold line down here. So trim that. So you just have this gold line down here. And then you're going to be fitting it. Once you've trimmed that to that gold line, and then you're going to be cutting it up here. And you cut it right before you get to that dark brown line, or right at that dark brown line. You'll, you'll see it once you get it down. And you're using the entire width of this paper. Since this is nine inches and this is eight, you got a half an inch spot right here that you need to fill in. This is coming. This is from the eight by eight collection. This piece right here. So what I did is I just cut this, this, and a little bit of this brown part right here, just to fill this area in, so like that. So I have a little bit of black reveal in between this page and this little strip. Make sure you ink all, all your edges. So that's it for the front cover. The other thing I did is I got this mandala, this one from the 8x8 because I thought it matched this paper the best. And I just punched out, punched out the center of it, inked everything, and then I made a little Square, just I made it on um, Canva, but you can make it in Photoshop or or however you want to make it in Word. And then I just put that in here for the name of the baby and called it the Circle of Life. So that's all I did with this. And then that's going to be going up in here. Once the baby's born, I know the baby's birth date. That's going to go up there. So that's it for the front cover. For the side cover, this piece is from this paper. This is from the Patterns and Solids. And all I did was I used this to cover the spine. So I just cut it to size and then I just inked it real heavy on this side so you don't see much of this pattern paper right here. So this is what it looks like when it's inked real heavy. This is that pattern paper, but it's been inked real heavy, so it kind of blends in with this piece, and this is right in the center. So you're just going to cut this, ink this side real heavy, so it kind of looks like this, and center it. So that's that. The back piece is using this paper. So I just cut this paper um, and made sure it fit top to bottom, side to side. And I cut this half circle out from the collection. I'm not sure, it's, it's probably an eight by eight. Yeah, it's an eight by eight with uh, another tree of life. 
and I cut the bottom of that out and ink this real heavy. And I didn't like it. Um, the con there wasn't enough contrast between this pattern and this this half circle. So what I did, this I just adhered this snake paper. I just cut a piece of snake paper and put that in between these two pieces. Um, and I just thought that looked nice as opposed to just having this pattern all the way down. I snuck in this snake pattern and put that in there. So that is your back cover. Pretty, pretty easy. This is pretty easy. And this is pretty easy. So that's it for my baby Savannah album.